All right, guys, three-phase resistive load number two. Uh, this one has a Y resistive load and a delta resistive load, both being fed from 283 phase. So we have 208 volts, three phase as our source, line one, line two, and line three. Uh, no neutral required here because we have balanced loads. Each of these guys is 25 ohms. Okay, and each of these loads on the delta are going to be 45 ohms. Okay, they're all being fed from 2.8, so we have 2.8 volts as the line voltage. Okay, now we've got to determine our phase voltage. Okay, the Y circuit, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the Y circuit as a series circuit where we know that I line is equal to I phase and V line is equal to V phase times root 3. Okay, currents are the same in a series circuit. All right, we're going to do that for the Y circuit and we're going to think of the Y as a series circuit. And for the delta, we're going to think of the delta as a parallel circuit. So our line current is equal to I phase times root 3. Uh, but in a parallel circuit, the voltage is the same, so V line is equal to V phase. Okay, this one we're going to think of as a series circuit. This one we're going to think of as a parallel circuit. You can see here that current comes in here, and there's only one path for it to go through the Y. Whereas here it comes in and it has one, two paths for current to flow. So one path being a series circuit with current being the same two paths being a parallel circuit where the voltage is the same. Okay, so let's continue on. Uh, the voltage is the same in a delta, so this voltage is 208 volts on the phase. Okay, our phase voltage is less than the line voltage on a Y by root 3. So 28 divided by root 3 gives you 120 volts on the phase. So now we know the voltage right here, right? So this voltage right here is 120 volts. And this voltage right here is the same as the line voltage of 208. Now we're going to break this three-phase circuit down into uh, just a simple Ohm's Law equation. So here we have uh, 120 volts divided by 25 ohms. Okay, and that gives us 4.8 amps. Okay, we know that the line current and the phase current are the same, so that current can go right here. Oh, sorry guys, I'm on cruise control here. Just put this in the right column here, 120 volts divided by 25 ohms gives us 4.8 amps. And the line and the phase current are exactly the same. Okay, next one we've got uh, 208 volts impressed across 45 ohms. That gives us a phase current of 4.62 amps. And if we take that 4.62, multiply it by root 3, 1.732, that gives us 8 amps. Okay, so now we can keep track of all our currents. The current outside and inside of this Y circuit is 4.8 amps. Okay, looking at the, the delta circuit, well the current inside the circuit is 4. Point, come on, 4.62 amps and the current outside of the circuit on the line is 8 amps. Okay, down here for the power, we can find our power by taking our line voltage. So we got 208 volts times our line current of 4.8 amps times root 3. And that gives us uh, 1729.27 watts. Over here, our line voltage is 208 volts. Line current is 8 amps times root 3, and that gives us 2882 
and I got uh, 0.13 watts. Okay, now remember that this power and this power are going to add to give us our total power of here we have 4611.4 watts. But again, that could be equal to our V line, right, times our I line. I line, we haven't finished off yet. These guys are both resistive loads, so we can add them up. We have 4.8 amps for this first load. We've got 8 amps for the second load. So our total current here is 12.8 amps. So 12.8 amps right across the board here. Okay, and here we have 28 times the 12.8 times root 3, giving us 4611.4 watts. Okay, they're both resistive loads, so we can just add up the line currents here, 4.8 and 8 amps to give us 12.8 amps. Okay, keep track here. We have voltage times line current times root 3, line voltage, line current times root 3, line voltage, line current times root 3, and again, this and this are going to add to give you this total power. All right, guys, uh, click on to the next one. Uh, the next one is going to be another resistive load, but with three loads, I believe. Thank you. See you in a bit.